yeah, the title of the presentation is clearly uh, just a provocation. It's <laughs> just evolution is not uh, uh, is not just a score. I, I think that the everyone in this uh, uh, in this room is uh, agree with, uh, is agree with the, this uh, this sentence. But uh, uh, the evaluation uh, we are used to are uh, usually modular. Uh, that means that all the models are evaluated uh, independently, and uh, we use uh, traditional and simple metrics uh, like uh, uh, water rate for um, tr uh, speech uh, tr transcription or tear and blur for uh, uh, um, transcription uh, for um, machine uh, <laughs> translation, and uh, and uh, the evaluation is about computing uh, an overall score. Uh, we have not a lot of information about errors, and uh, the test data is uh, selected to get a global uh, score. And uh, the, the, the primary guide is the application, and not uh, the analysis of the, the, the errors, for example. So the evaluation we would like to have is evaluations that help improving systems, provide clues to the system performance, um, put in, in light uh, the weak and the strong points and uh, try to identify the, the factors of the, the variation of performance uh, so as to have a comprehensive evaluation report. So evaluation are not fully black box and uh, we try to have the, to, to put in light the, the interrelated models and uh, try to, to see the, the, the influence of uh, each error on each models and uh, to provide uh, enhanced metrics and evaluation protocols. So to, to, to summarize the, the, the goal, we can say that an in-depth evaluations explain and help uh, the, devel the, the developers. So for our point of view, uh, the question to how to build the perfect evaluation is to take in account the, the task definition and in particular the decomposition of uh, this task and uh, try to control the data and the metric definitions, that's clear, so as to uh, have uh, the, an analysis of the results. So uh, to show you this uh, kind of methods, uh, we we choose to 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 show you to to show you the the the, the repair challenge uh, task and to 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 give you some example of uh, what we try to do in this challenge to to have a better or in in depth uh, evaluation. Uh, the goal of the, repair, uh, of the repair challenge is to bring together several consortia to develop system for person recognition in audiovisual data. That means that we have on one hand uh, the, the image and on the other end the, the speech and uh, the systems uh, try to recognize the speaker using the speech. Uh, but also to using the, the speech recognition, uh, recognize the, the spoken names. And on the other hand, uh, using the text detection and the optical character recognition, try to find the, the, the written name. And uh, using head detection, do head uh, identification and fused all this information so as to answer who is in the, the videos. Um, because you, you, so uh, a main question is uh, to build a corpus to, to do this kind of, and to, to evaluate the, the, capa the, the capacity of the system to, to recognize people. And uh, the, the goal is to have a representative corpus for the task. That means that uh, we can classify the difficulty of the corpus and uh, in, 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 we need to, to compose uh, this, uh, this corpus from documents uh, corresponding to the applicative task, but uh, reminding that uh, this, can, this uh, question of the difficulty uh, is important. And on the other part, we have the question of the annotations, because if we, we need annotations that can identify the phenomena we want the system to do, but also we want to annotate it, the potential explicative factor uh, of, the, of the error done by the systems. Um, because uh, not everyone in the, in the, in the room uh, know about uh, this kind of data, uh, I will just show you um, some samples of, uh, of the corpus. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm 
Catherine de Max. Où se trouve l'ex-femme de, de Marc Dutroux. Elle sera prochainement libérée. Elle souhaite s'installer en France euh, dans un couvent, dit-on. Euh, Julia, avant de retrouver en direct, écoutez le ministre français de la Justice, Michel Mercier. Il est assez réticent à donner son accord. On écoute le garde des Sceaux. Nous n'avons pas été saisis par la Belgique. C'est sans doute pour voir ce qu'il y avait dans la cité. Nous étions accompagnés de l'île natale de Jean-Marie Marche. C'est génial, mais la night c'est super glamour et ça démarre ce soir avec le dîner d'ouverture en compagnie de Robert De Niro ou du jour, s'il vous plaît, et je vais m'entrester. La dignité et la liberté. Entre ombre et lumière, François Mitterrand a marqué les Français, hommes de mots et de culture, le président de gauche a fait de cette un roman. Le, le débat a commencé avec leur sourire, c'était il y a 30 ans, 10 mai 1980, des gens pensaient sur la place de, de la Bastille. Quatre invités sont avec moi. D'abord, Marilyn Lindman, bonsoir. Choisissez la simplicité, l'efficacité, la justice. Faites la pas l'œil démagogique qui constitue une provocation pour ceux que votre politique sacrifie depuis 4 ans. En vous écoutant, on comprend que les idées du Parti communiste ne soient pas majoritaires ni dans notre pays ni en Europe. C'est une évidence. Ça. You can see um, how the, the, the difference we have in the corpus and uh, uh, why we, we need to, to, to identify the, the different factors. I can describe uh, the different video and explain the, the performance we can observe. Um. <coughs> So uh, now um, I will give you some example of the annotation uh, that has done uh, in this corpus. So you have annotation <coughs> for the tasks that are, for example, speech transcription, annotation of person name in speech transcription or in the text, identification of the speaker and the, and the head. Uh, but you have also annotations for the analysis, like the gender, <coughs> the person's role, the head descriptions, and that's all. Uh, And so to classify the difficulty, for example, uh, here you have the, f the, you have the number of heads per annotated image and uh, each color uh, corresponds to a different uh, show. And, uh, each, uh, and uh, you have all the uterines that compose the training data sets uh, for the, the repair challenge. And uh, so um, there, there are uh, f uh, sev uh, seven different uh, type of shows. And uh, you can see that we can cluster them um, according to this factor, for example. Um, the, the white uh, bars uh, uh, correspond to the, to the parliament uh, sessions for example, and uh, the orange, uh, green, and uh, purple bars correspond to the political debate where there is uh, not so much people uh, that are uh, visible at the same time, for example. So it might be uh, a factor that can explain the performance, and that's why we, we need to, to, control him, uh, to control this kind of factor when we build the corpus. Um, for an, another example is the, uh, the repetition of the modalities that can be used to identify people. Um, so uh, the first uh, pipe car uh, represents for all the corpus um, what modality is uh, available to recognize a, per, a, a particular person. So um, you have around uh, 40% of the people who just appear Uh, in the video, and uh, we c you, you can't use uh, the speech at the same time to, to identify him. Uh, but uh, you can, and uh, you have uh, on the another way, for example, 20% of the people who are speaking and appear at the same time. So you can use the, the, the two modalities to, so that's important to control this kind of factor if you want to fuse information and, and to be sure that you have a representative Uh, corpus of what you want to to, to do, and uh, the 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 three other um, pie car uh, represent the the same uh, analysis, but for each uh, kind of show, and you can see that uh, we have a very <coughs> different uh, distribution uh, according to the the, the kind uh, of show. For example. Um, The, the first at the right uh, is a, a political debate, and uh, okay, and uh, it's uh, very different from, for example, uh, the 
the celebrity uh, news show uh, that you have uh, on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, another problem is, uh, for example, the, the distribution of speech according to the speaker. Uh, in, the, um, in the Repair Challenge uh, corpus, uh, you can see that the most uh, speakers have uh, only very short uh, intervention that mean between one second and, and 10 seconds. So uh, it's something you have to have in mind uh, when you analyze the, the result because on the other part here, uh, the, the, here the people if I'm the, in this part, you have people who uh, speak more than one hour. So it's not the same task to, to build, uh, uh, to recognize people with just uh, one or two seconds, and on the other part, to recognize the, uh, a guy who, where, when you, are, you have a lot of, uh, of speech. Um, here, uh, it's uh, another kind of, um, of annotation. It's for, for uh, a factor analysis. Uh, it's the, the head orientation is uh, annotated in the, the, the repair corpus. And so you know if the, the head of the, the person is in face, in profile, or back. And uh, uh, so uh, you can see that um, uh, 80 percent of the corpus, for 80 percent of the corpus, uh, people are in face. But uh, according to uh, the, the show, uh, the di this distribution is not exactly the same. Uh, and uh, for example, for this, uh, this uh, show, uh, you have a lot of people who are in profile. But what is important for us is not just to know the orientation of the head, but to link it with, for one person, what are the, the, the orientation we have in the corpus. So here you can see that 50% uh, of the person which are present in the corpus are always in face, but you have 25% uh, of the people who appear in face and uh, in profile. So that's, that's why we need this kind of uh, um, information uh, to do the, the, the next uh, analyzed uh, and understand to, so as to understand the, the results. But um, we, for in the, the repair corpus, we do other annotation. For example, to know uh, if uh, someone uh, have glasses or uh, other kind of things. And uh, the problem is that in the composition of the corpus, uh, it is uh, a marginal phenomena that are um, described. And we don't have enough uh, to do statistical uh, analysis because it's not, uh, we don't have enough data to, to know if, for example, uh, the, the system have a problem to recognize people according to his have a glass or glasses or not. But maybe for, for some application it's interesting to, to know these kind of things to, to use the system. For the, the metric design, um, we, we can uh, cluster the, the, the metrics on two different uh, groups. Uh, on one part we have the metrics that compute a global OPAC score and some that try to enumerate the error. Here you have some example and famous example uh, of uh, different metrics uh, for different uh, type of, uh, of task. And uh, usually the, the global score are often Correct, uh, correctness score, and uh, people often feel that they are more uh, understable. But uh, error enumerates based uh, on metric usually give error rates, and uh, it's uh, maybe easier to classify and to uh, better understand uh, what it's happened. Happening. Uh, so for the, the, the goal of the error analyzing, it's try to classify the error, try to ext extract the explanation of the explanation factors and uh, the discriminative factor between the system outputs. But in this case, the representation is okay and it's not so easy to have the good uh, representation between an information overload and an oversimplification of the phenomena. So, uh, and Always the same problem is uh, we need enough data to do statistical uh, analysis, but uh, it's always the same thing to, to have enough, but not just data for data, but structured data, so has to do the, 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 the statistical analysis we need. Um, here you have an example of uh, representation by box plot um, that show 
the variation of performance in precision and recall of one system who participate uh, on uh, the repair challenge. And uh, you show the influence of uh, the show uh, on the performance. And uh, you can see uh, what we can uh, uh, imagine uh, when we analyze the different things uh, uh, in different factors that, for example, for the the uh, celebrity news show, uh, it's more difficult and uh, we, we need to, to better understand why we can, uh, find why uh, the, the, the results here are less than, for example, uh, for the, the, de the political debate. Um, here you have exactly the same uh, representation. This is exactly the same information, but it's represented by the mean and the standard deviation. And uh, it's not uh, the same uh, way to represent the same thing. And uh, I don't know uh, who prefer what kind of representation. Uh, personally, I prefer this one, but my colleague prefers this one. <laughs> so uh, it depends on uh, what you want to analyze and what you want to, to know. And here, maybe it's more synthetic and uh, here you, you, you see better the, the distribution of, uh, of the, the, the values. Um, but this representation is important because here for the, here you, you have two different uh, uh, system and uh, the analysis is done uh, on the influence of the number of head by frames uh, and uh, regarding uh, if it's uh, a relevant factor and uh, <coughs> here you just represent for the, the top oh sorry for the top uh, you just represent the mean uh, of the, the performance and um, uh, on the back you have um, box plot and uh, so you, you, you see I think better the, the, the variation and in particular you see that uh, the two systems are a little bit different uh, in performance in particular to, to work with the, 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 the frame where there is uh, two, two, two faces to, to recognize. Um, what is important to know uh, in more in this uh, kind of representation is the problem of the number of frame you have for each, um, for each uh, situation. And uh, one problem, for example, we have in the repair challenge is that uh, for the, the frame where there is more than two heads at the same time, uh, we don't have enough uh, image uh, regarding to the, the other condition. So that is always the, sa the same problem in this kind of representation. We don't have the information of the, the number of utterance. So in conclusion, um, you, you, you have understood the, the, the necessity of the, the a good definition of the, the corpus, uh, so has to uh, be uh, interpretable and to, to understand uh, what are the factors that can explain the, the performance and have an annotation for uh, the analysis, but we need enough data, not just to have uh, data, but structured data that can explain the, the performance. Uh, for the metrics uh, definition, uh, we hope that enumerating the errors, uh, it's uh, more useful than uh, just uh, give a score of correctness. And, uh, and uh, the, the, the question of the, the pertinence of the, the representation of the, the, the scores is uh, an, an important issue too. So thank you for your attention and I'm ready to answer your question. we are uh, working on. Mm -hmm. uh, the difficulty for the, the, the Robert challenge is that uh, uh, we, we don't have uh, all the, the visual frames that are annotated. It's all, it's, uh, all 
with, yeah, it's just keyframes. So it's not so easy to, to do this kind of correlation for uh, for the difference just uh, between two or three uh, three frames. Yes. Is that a Just, just uh, you know, at, at a certain moment we, we saw uh, a drawing of a, of, a, of a woman. Yeah. Is it a part of the evaluation? Yeah. Or? Yeah, and uh, you can see. Uh, and, and what are, what uh, the systems are doing on that? Are they, are they doing something? Nothing. Or? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. But the, the problem is that <coughs> this phenomena is marginal uh, in the corpus, so it's difficult to 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 know exactly what is the performance. Because, uh, for example, in the in the training, I, I think that uh, you have uh, only uh, uh, 50 uh, heads which are uh, a drawing, and in the test is uh, mm. around I don't know uh, around 10 or, or 20. So it's you, you can't say nothing with uh, so we don't have enough data mm. to say precisely what uh, is the difference between drawing and <laughs> and uh, real people. But it's annotated in the. So, uh, there is a temptation to multiply the number of different scenarios and the type of shows, etc. And if this is a factor that explains different uh, performance, then the temptation from the system developers is to develop a different system. So you end up with a different system that can't be compared because they don't the same the, it can be the same factor for different systems. So there will be always a, a kind of a competition between the specialization of systems towards the tasks, plus with the uh, definition of explanations of uh, why the systems are, are wrong. So what do we do? That's a good question. But uh, it depends on the goal of your evaluation, I think. Uh, if the goal is to understand uh, what is a speaker in speech or uh, what is a, a face in an image, uh, it's not a good thing, maybe, to, to have uh, a more pre uh, so precise, uh, uh, um, so precise uh, systems that uh, are, dry, uh, are building for uh, a particular show. Uh, but if your goal uh, is uh, is to, to do something for a precise uh, TV show, um, and your application is to work, for example, for the FMCC guys. Uh, it's uh, interesting to, to know exactly uh, who are their advertised and who appears in, the, in their in their channels. And so uh, maybe I have a more um, more precise design uh, uh, system is better. Uh, it depends on your goal, I think. Yesterday, we also had this question come up with how do you know what constitutes state of the art when there are different evaluations going on in the US and in Europe with not quite the same number of people in each, even though they're, they're, all, they're all open. And so, I wonder whether there's any discussion going on currently to, to do what NIST and, um, and European agencies have done in the past, which is to merge the evaluation together, or at least the subset of the evaluation. Is that any discussion like that? Happens? Yeah, yeah. for Club Dev? Uh, for other, it's not so clear, but for uh, other um, kind of evaluation, for, for uh, in particular in uh, optical uh, character recognition, for example. Okay. Okay, there are no more questions. Let's thank our speaker again.